Across the world, people are continually inventing new musical instruments. This is a list of the top 10 strangest and most bizarre new musical instrument. And if you want to see more of an instrument, click the More Info button as it appears on the bottom right. But first, here's a few strange instruments that have been around for quite some time. The spoons. Yes, people figured out you could play percussion by slapping two spoons around in your hands. The stalactite organ of the Luray Caverns in Virginia is a series of natural stalactites struck with mallets controlled electronically by a keyboard. It was created in 1956 by Leland W. Sprinkle. The glass harmonica, invented in 1761 by Benjamin Franklin. It's a series of glass rings spinning on a cylinder which are played by running wet fingers across as they spin. The theremin. Invented by Leon Theremin in 1928 was one of the first electronic instruments. Pitch and volume are controlled by two electric field sensors which register how far a person's hand or body is away from it. And without further ado, here's your top 10 strangest new musical instruments. Number 10, the hung. The hung was invented in year 2000 by Felix Rahner and Sabrina Scherer. Since its creation, there have been many generic versions called hand pans. The hung is played by slapping indentations in the metal dome with one's fingers. The different sizes of indentations correspond to different notes. Number 9. The Zeusophone. It's basically a Tesla coil which has been adapted to play music. It might sound abrasive, but it looks really cool. That's because the Zeusophone is using bolts of static electricity emitted from the Tesla coil to play different pitches. The pitch is controlled by a MIDI keyboard or sequencer which tells a transducer to change the rate at which the electronic discharge pulsates. A faster pulse equals a higher pitch. Groups like Art Dream and Bjork can be seen lighting up festivals with their Zeusophones. Number 8. Chateau Poulet. This was originally built as part of a larger installation, the Music Box Roving Village. It's truly an authentic aerophone because it generates sound by catching wind using tubes which are attached to spinning fans. Each fan is connected via belts to a motor. When you pull on the ropes, a pulley system tightens the belts, allowing a particular fan to spin fast enough to catch the wind and make a tone. Number seven goes to an entire collection, the Hybrid Visions. The artist Ken Butler has made hundreds of musical instruments out of found objects. For example, a hockey racket is made from a tennis racket, a hockey stick, door stops, and other random pieces of metal. It can be played like a violin, guitar, you can pluck the protruding metal like a nimbira. The hockey stick slides into your pocket so it doesn't even need a strap. Anything that's attached to the piece of wood with a contact microphone will Stick drink mixer that has a guitar pick. Ken Butler has made so many musical instruments that he doesn't name them anymore. performs live at the looping station at venues and art galleries and has recorded full-length albums with his instrument creations. Number six, the laser harp. The laser harp has been made into many shapes and sizes and because it's electronic it can be programmed to play a wide range of sounds. The fundamental construction is this. A series of lasers are hitting adjacent sensors that register when your fingers, hand, or other object move to block the laser. The sensor tells the sampler or synth what corresponding note to play. 
Number five, the wheel harp. The wheel harp was created by John Jones and Mitchell Manger. It first debuted in 2013. It's a musical instrument with bowed strings controlled by a keyboard. Its strings are played by spinning wheels, which are powered by a foot-controlled treadle. Number four goes to a giant installation of unique instruments known as the Anarchistra. It's a culmination of the life's work of Andy Thurlow. It's an interactive installation that invites spectators to come and be a part of the band. The instruments are tuned to the same key, so knowledge of music theory isn't needed to play them. Some mimic hurdy-gurdies and hammer dulcimers, while others look strange and completely out of this world. It was invented in 1999 by William Close. It is the longest stringed instrument in the world, with strings that extend up to a thousand feet in length, usually stretched between buildings or opposing walls of a concert hall. The strings are played by rubbing gloved hands along the strings to create vibration. William Close can be seen playing his earth harp at many festivals and concert halls, including Burning Man and Radio City Music Hall. Number two, the sharpsichord. The sharpsichord was invented by the English composer Henry Dagg. It is a 46-stringed harp played by a pin cylinder. The composer screws pins into the cylinder at desired note positions in the time signature. A solar-powered motor is used to spin the cylinder. Each pin lifts a lever mechanism which plucks the appropriate string. Each string then transfers its energy to a rocking bridge coupled to a long diaphragm whose vibrations are amplified acoustically by two large horns. A keyboard allows for real-time performance. Number one, the vibraband. All these crazy instrument creations can't compete with a simple piece of rubber stretched between one's lips. The Vibraband, created by Stan Wood, costs less than $10. Just kidding, that wasn't really number one. Drum roll, please. Number one is the Yaibahar. Built in 2014 by Gorkum Sheen in Turkey. It is a purely acoustic instrument which sounds like a synthesizer. It is played by hitting and stroking the horizontal chords with a mallet, plucking and strumming vertical strings, and drumming on the feet. Drum-like membranes and a coiled spring act to create further resonations, which give this instrument its strange sound. There are still many more musical instruments that you probably have never seen before. This was merely a list of some of the most recent creations. However, the world is full of unique instruments that have been used in traditional music of other cultures for centuries. It is up to you to get out and explore your world. I personally love playing and collecting non-Western musical instruments, like this obokono from Western Kenya. 
The strings rest against these reeds, which creates this unique buzzing sound. I'm Danny Wolverton. Thank you for subscribing. There's more amazing videos and magic to come. And please watch some of the other musical instrument videos I've made. Thank you.